Good evening to be good evening, time to be here and uh, welcome to the next episode of Who Eat the Off One. Clean water shows on the Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. on television. How do you do today? Excellent. <laughs> so let's welcome to the five players today. <coughs> My name is Huan, my number is Guan. I'm extremely passionate about sports. Well, in general, I would say that I really love sports because when I play sports with my friends, I feel happy and full of energy. In particular, my favorite, my favorite sport is badminton. My sister, she's really good at badminton and she gained many awards from many competitions and schools, so I learned that from her. When playing badminton, the first thing I have learned was how to hold the racket and then the six main shots, the uh, clear, the grab, the smash, the um, serve, the forehand, the right, and the backhand, the right. Uh, badminton is a very easy game, so everyone can play it. In fact, you can play it everywhere with racket and serve the cut. Another thing I'd like to mention is I also joined in Vietnam Club. I think it's a great way to learn self-control, self-defense, respect, and patience. Besides, I joined in a lot of sports like swi swimming, volleyball, football, and so on. I'm a motivated and young person because sports can help you reduce bad cholesterol, reduce weight for the overweight people, and attain optimal weight for their height and age. So, if you want to be a winner tonight, please choose me. Number one, thank you. <laughs> So, number two. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm number two. And I'm very glad to be here again today. And, uh, well, I want like to begin by saying that playing sport is my secular. The first is reading. And, well, I can't imagine my life without sport. I've been sporty when I was 12 years old. I learned playing badminton, basketball, and swimming. And honestly, at a very young age, I participated in some sport competitions hosted by my school. And turning to my sport uh, hobby, I intend to. I play sport with my friend at the at the weekend. We often play badminton together at a stadium <coughs> in the Nichis one. Uh, moreover, I also have some basketball training days with my friend whenever he has time. And I always try to maintain my sport schedule as much frequently as I can. Whenever I feel weak, I will avoid to be out of my condition and just take part in some other gentle sport like go jogging. And the last but not least, I and the last but not least, well, playing sport give me give me a lot of benefit. With me, taking sport regularly is the best way to keep my body fit and active. Every day, I can be aware of my body becoming better and healthier. And moreover, I overcome the severe malnutrition by playing sport. Therefore, it is what adds a part of my life. And so, this is the reason why I really want who love sport. So, vote me and we will win the game. Thank you. Uh, passing a ball or 
on the handing, and so on. And now I can do other complicated movements like spiking, blocking, and so on. <coughs> Thanks to playing volleyball, I do not only reinforce my health, but also learn how to foster teamwork coordination. Finally, I'd like to discuss why sport is always crucial in my life. I always put, uh, put play much battle on, sp on sports because uh, so playing sports helped me to improve my health and with a very busy studying schedule, playing sport is a very fundamental way to get energy and to learn better. Now I can feel that my body is becoming more better thanks to playing sport and, do ex and doing exercises regularly. Finally, please pick up the number four to find out the odd one is. Tennis, and um, 
And then I have the chances of playing table tennis with my father's colleges. And yes, that's really amazing for me. Number one, what did you enjoy during your childhood? Uh, um, well, uh, what did I enjoy during my playing for sport best for time, I often spend all, all my free time playing it. Um, uh, playing it. Uh, playing this. Uh, however, um, however, I was aware that the uh, first sport uh, isn't suitable for me because um, I uh, often uh, suffer injury and I don't have the time playing it. Number three. Number three. What, what are the advantages of volleyball? Well, well, there's this one, uh, well, there's this, uh, no, there is a number of uh, other merits, and I would like to say that the first one is very stand out is that volleyball help uh, help me to uh, increase uh, muscle strength because it requires strength in the upper body, arms, shoulders, legs, and so on. And another advantage is that um, volleyball also help to uh, uh, develop develop hand eye coordination, coordination, and uh, it also teaches communication with the people. It's a very social activity. <coughs> the number one, do you think <laughs> there are any disadvantage of playing volleyball? Uh, yes, thank you, so much. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for sure, there are some problems. I guess the most disadvantage uh, characterized would be that multiple acts is performed within the set of rules. Uh, this is clear limitation because um, when an actually in danger, you should not be uh, so in gray in, in uh, with rules uh, that you fail to win on the street. Um, at the same time, the stumbling uh, uh, block uh, with fun, uh, maybe that the situational awareness uh, uh, that you learn is limited, and the trouble is that you must, um, you must, uh, uh, you must uh, train yourself and the uh, bridgeball for a thought prior to entering uh, any situation. So Number two, huh? do you think young people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you oh. think young people get enough exercises these days? Well, that's a, that's quite a controversial question, but uh, but I guess in my opinion is that it depends on each individual. However, I suppose that children may be may not uh, take part participate in enough activities due to computers or television. And now children spend all their spare time staying at home to watch television or play uh, all and games rather than going to sports center to take up exercises. Number two, do you think girls can learn basketball? Well, yes, <laughs> I do. And, uh, well, uh, can, can, can you repeat your question? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think cool. if girls can learn basketball? Well, yes, I think girls can, can play basketball, but and can learn basketball, but maybe the basketball is the time of Sport. That is quite difficult for girls because it's a kind of sport that requires many, uh, a lot of personal skill and uh, stamina, and uh, most girls can uh, meet that. So, and it also uh, have some, uh, and, and we and the girl also have to be faced for some injury and uh, uh, some injuries. And yes, when uh, playing basketball, so this is the reason why. I think no, 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 no. In your opinion. What factors make a person be interested in sport? What factor? factors make a person be interested in sport? Oh, well, yeah, I understand. And uh, thank you for your question. Uh, I think that there are many, there are many factors for a person to be interested in a sport. And, uh, well, but I think that the, um, maybe the most, the most, the most, the most uh, well, but I think that the most uh, important, the most important, yeah, yeah, the most <laughs> important, well, yeah, the most important is benefit that they can gain by following the sport, and uh, well, and I also think that uh, the idolizing a person in sport industry is also the good, in a good reason for a person to uh, interest in sport. 
Number one, what, what kind of sport do you dislike?
tell me why you choose number two? Well, we chose number two because she she seems like to have a um, very much experience on sports, and she can tell the de detailed experience on it. And she also show her passion for sports. And then the last one I have to mention is she she also have us uh, has been, has a lot of knowledge of sports. So we chose her. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so and any opinions? No. Okay. So number group two. Can you tell me why you choose? Mm -hmm. We choose the number four because when she answers, she is very confident about sport, and uh, her answer really was very accurate, and she looks very great and full of energy. So I choose her. Okay, thank you. Number three. Number three. Okay, I will say um I will talk about Yan. She is not the odd one in tonight because um. When sh when you be ask about uh, maintain your hobby, but you you say that uh, you will invite your play your friend to play with you, and and that that mean that uh, your hobby is dependent <laughs> on others. So you are not the other one. Um, and the second, Lee, you are you you said that you play sport in order to increase muscle power. But I don't see that you have muscle power, so <laughs> <laughs> you're not your body. Yeah. And so we Tao. Uh, Tao has a very skinny appearance. So it um, does not just an outlook of a sporty person. So um, although she is so confident when answering about the questions, but maybe based on her appearance, I think she's not the odd one. And uh, Hua twice is not quite confident when answering about the question, but maybe, maybe uh, she is our final answer, final choice, because of her appearance. Okay, so the lab team, can you tell me why you choose number three? Uh, we choose number three because. She's answer everybody questions very clearly and smooth and smooth. And I think that a person that loves sport, they don't have to be muscle, they just have a full energy. And she's shown me that and she's doing sport not only because she's wanna keep fit, but she do it because she loves it. Okay. So that's why she I choose number three. Okay, thank you. So the odd one tonight is Miss <laughs> <laughs> Number 3, thank you. <laughs>